The Congressional Medal of Honor Museum on the USS Yorktown will be temporarily closed for the next several months due to a renovation that will cost several million dollars. Ray Arena joining us now from Patriots Point and Ray, officials say there are 66 living recipients of the nation's highest award for military valor. And two of those recipients were here earlier today to take part in a ceremony, like you just mentioned, of the, mu of the museum that will uh, soon undergo a $3.5 million renovation right there on the Yorktown. Now, the Congressional Medal of Honor Society received a donation from the National Medal of Honor Leadership and Education Center. The renovation will make the museum more interactive, tying in some of the artifacts on the ship, such as the B-25 bomber. John Falkenberry, the society's executive vice president, says they have called Patriots Point home since 1992. He says Congress recognized the museum on the Yorktown in 1999. Leaders say the museum hasn't had a major upgrade since 2007. Now they're looking forward to telling the stories of the brave men and women of the armed forces in a different way. The display that we'll have about the, the Vietnam War uh, will have a, a faux uh, UE cupola and in that will be the sights and sounds of a helicopter pilot taking off or landing in Vietnam at the Civil War exhibit. It'll look like a Civil War log cabin. We have a drum from the Civil War. And officials expect to invite as many living Medal of Honor recipients for a potential scheduled soft opening in May, just before Memorial Day. Live in Mount Pleasant, Ray Urena, Live 5 News.